Father Jack Collins for Busted Halo on the streets of the city of New York in front of St. Patrick's Cathedral on this Ash Wednesday, asking people why are they wearing ashes and what is Lent all about. I see that you're wearing ashes. Can you tell me why you're wearing ashes? I get them every year. It's been a family thing since I was younger. We had a responsibility to thank God to go to get our ashes and be, and be grateful. I think that this is a way to help me kind of stay connected since I don't go to church all the time. Mm -hmm. It's a recognition of our mortality. It's a, a good uh, preparation for Lent and for Easter. When you think of Lent, what do you think of? A time for change, time for growth. Sacrifice. Christ dying on the cross, giving his life. It's kind of a time when we step back and acknowledge that not everything in the world is going right. We know that a lot of people are excluded. Uh, sometimes even we ourselves bear grudges. And maybe we need to forgive people, but often violence is met with violence. And so Lent is kind of a time to say, wow, what is it that we could do in order to bring about in the world uh, a better world, a better place for the world to be, which is, of course, the whole mission of Jesus. Do you know what three things the Catholic Church recommends to people as uh, practices for Lent that are uh, based on the teachings of Jesus? Faith. Penance. Sacrifice. Uh, prayer. The three traditional things the church recommends are prayer, fasting, almsgiving. The church invites us to pray uh, during Lent as a way of acknowledging we need more than our own strength to get through life. Fasting is a way of saying, hey, a lot of people fast all the time, yeah. not because they want to, but they never get enough food. Yeah. They never get enough to eat. So fasting is a way maybe of reminding us, hey, maybe I can do a bit more for others. And that's where giving comes in, yeah. that the goods of the earth belong to everybody. Is there anything in particular you are doing or giving up for Lent? I need to cut back on spending. Well, I have a really big problem with alcohol, so I'm giving that up for four days and 40 nights. I'm not going to say any bad words. I'm giving up, <laughs> sounds silly, but granola bars, because that's my vice. Oftentimes people see, like say, giving up granola bars, maybe whatever money they may save, they might give it away to a, uh, a good cause. We make sacrifices, not so much for ourselves, but maybe make sacrifices with other people. There is a, a particular food that's kind of associated with Catholics during Lent, especially on Fridays. Do you know what that food is? I don't remember, it was it steak or something? Fish. In, in, back home, we, we have fish. But we have fish. That's, yeah. what we have. that's the word I was looking for. Oh, okay. Fish, yeah. And it's not so much about uh, eating the fish as it is about not, not eating, eating the meat. meat. And again, we do that for the sake of others, you know, that we might be reminded, wow, some people never have a significant meal. Do you know why we call the Friday that Jesus died good? Maybe because it's about renewing our faith in him. He died for the greater good because it's the day that turned our lives around. It's a sacrifice he made to have all of our sins forgiven and just like humanity started over that day. So it's, it's good, it's definitely good. Great answer. <laughs> Jesus stood for a lot of really good stuff. Share with other people, don't bear grudges, include people. No one is condemned, no one is better than anybody else. We all have an equal run at this. And a lot of people said, we don't particularly like what you stand for. And if you don't take it back, um, we're going to do you in. And we kind of still say that to Jesus in the world today. And he said, I'm not taking it back. So they did him in. But we know on Easter Sunday, he was raised from the dead. So he ended up kind of coming out on the right side, uh, which says that there's hope for us, that there is still, no matter how much bad we see, there's still more good in the world. And when we are able to sort of rewrite the story of our lives a little bit, more in context with his, uh, we become part of his victory too.